Hey Shutter Clears, last week when I was out doing street photography, I had a new piece of equipment. It was a, a chest harness. It looks like this here. Your camera hooks into this and you wear it up here on your chest. So let me put this on and show you how it works. Sorry about the problem with the green screen. I'll do better next time. Okay, all you do is put the two shoulder harnesses over your head, kind of pull it down and reach around behind. This is not magic here. Get it adjusted down there. Get that strap, that waist strap. Click it in. And you're all but done. There's just not that much to it. Now that little strap, that's a safety strap. You hook that onto the ring on your camera. You provide a ring you put on your camera. You click that on in case you fall down or something. Why? Your camera wouldn't twist and fall off. Or if it does fall off, why? It's on that safety harness. So here we'll, I'll turn around. You can kind of see the webbing in the back. Keeps it cool. You know, there's just not much to it, but it really works. It's really effective. I think you'd like it for the price. You can't beat it. I'll talk about the price in just a minute. Okay. There's not much to say about it except the only real adjustment is how tight it fits you around the waist. And I think it needs to be snug so when you lift up on your camera, it doesn't pull the vest up. Other than that, just adjusting it for size and fit, you can lower this if you want. I think your camera's safer is it up, if it's up here higher, and when you sit down or bend over, you don't want it low, you'll be mashing your camera. The only other thing I can tell you is, the little locking mechanism on the bottom, it needs to be set right, and it needs to be running horizontal or parallel with the bottom of your camera. So when you stick it in, it not only locks, but when you go to take it out, you get, it's indexed so that you turn it exactly 90 degrees and it pops right out. If you don't do that, when you have larger lenses, it makes it kind of hard to find the place where it unlocks to where you can take it out, okay? So I think that's kind of important. All right, the price. Here's a screenshot from Amazon. $37.95. Mine laid in at about $40 bucks with the sales tax. Tells you all about it. Uh, there's several available. There's $37.95 for this one. There's a one that's right at $40. And then there's a high-end one uh, that runs $118, $119. More bells and whistles, but I tell you, I just can't see that much difference. And if you want one of these things, it's really handy. Freeze up both hands when you're out walking around in the woods, especially, or even downtown where we were doing street photography last week. Uh, you got your hands free. It makes it real easy to, to do other things. Like I had a shoulder bag with lenses in it to get my lenses in and out. It's just, it's really nice. Much nicer than a shoulder strap that goes off to, to your side. You don't have that camera flopping around as you walk, you know? how it's hitting your leg all the time. Uh, this is really nice. Nice piece of goods, and I like it. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, as always, get out there and keep your shutter clicking. Bye now.